Hello my fellow AGD coders, welcome to another video, hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is just a short one, I thought I'd show you something that uh, David Sapphire has added to AGDX and uh, I've been uh, debugging my uh, clone of Joust which is very nearly finished and this has proven to be really quite uh, a useful little thing. So basically as you know we were able to uh, show you the memory locations for the sprites and objects and uh, this is uh, something similar but for scripts. So uh, when uh, when you open a script in uh, AGD it gets loaded into a buffer so that it's human readable so it's basically in uh, sort of ASCII text and for that reason um, it's actually then quite easy to uh, to extract it and uh, what David's done is he's added a little uh, bar here at the top which tells you the uh, current location of the editor buffer and the length of the buffer. As you can see uh, this is quite a large file, 4,644 bytes. That's when it's uncompressed into into text. It will be less than that, obviously, in uh, in in AGD itself. But when it's being edited, it takes up quite a lot of space. Um, but basically, yeah, all I have to do is uh, save it off here as a binary file using those two numbers, and then load it in to uh, an external package. Um, this is the reason, by the way, the fact that this takes up quite a lot of space when it's un uncompressed is why some scripts won't load into uh, to be edited when you when you're low on memory. So it's one of the reasons why we made the um, shortened keywords. But even with shortened keywords, uh, sooner or later you're going to run out of memory as well. Um, anyway, let's take a look. Let's open the file. And as you can see here, immediately it's, we've got a copy. So when you're running these two things side by side, it's quite handy because obviously running on a PC, it's a lot easier to navigate. It's a lot easier to find a particular part of the code. You can use find and replace um, like this. And uh, yeah, you can locate each instance and uh, just check your script and then go back and edit it. Unfortunately, you can't uh, save the changes that you make back into AGD. Obviously, that would be wonderful. Um, it is something that, that we'll get to eventually, perhaps with the editorless version, which we are working on. That won't be really ready, though, for a good few months, I don't think. But uh, it is possible to make changes directly into the script as you're working, as we'll see here, for example. Let's just put a variable, let a equal 1, and uh, save it off again. And um, what's nice about doing this is that uh, Notepad++, as soon as you've saved it like this, let me just uh, put the numbers in here. Uh, yep, so as soon as you've saved it and you go back to Notepad++, it'll say, oh, you've changed the file. Do you want to update? And you say yes, and uh, look, there it is. So uh, you can basically be working with, with the two things side by side. And uh, when you've got longer scripts, which I often do because... Uh, uh, in this case, we're doing lots of uh, uh, things like physics and AI and different bits and pieces, so the, the scripts tend to be quite long. Um, this can help you to navigate them a little more easily if you make smaller changes. Um, we'll just load another one in here just to show you if you want to try a different script. Again, you uh, basically... Oops, hang on a second. I just need to go back, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't have the toolbar. You have to move down. Uh, one space before it shows it, but uh, yeah, no problem. So let's uh, open that, save it off, and so 59557, and this one is only uh, just over a K, so um, yeah, and there you go. Oh, you've updated, you've changed it. Yes, I have. So I've been going through my scripts, and uh, you can back them up this way. You can prepare them for the future for the, uh, for the editorless version, which uh, will come out eventually. So you'll be able to export them, and um, yeah, it's uh, as I said. It, in an ideal world, you'd be able to save it off and have it appear back here. But uh, it it is nevertheless very very handy because you can um, you can you can navigate the script a lot easier and find uh, specific uh, things that you're looking for. For example, I I've been moving objects around, moving sprites to different positions, and having to do some renumbering and renaming and finding. Uh, certain points in the in the, in the script that, um, you know you can remember uh, perhaps the text itself but you can't remember exactly where it is so yeah I'm going to ask David actually if, if it will be possible for that uh, information bar to possibly also include the uh, the line number 
that you're looking at up here. I'm not sure if it will be possible though, but if it is, and uh, I'm sure David will be able to do it, and it would be very handy. So uh, yeah, that's it really. Not really a tip, just a bit of news. Hopefully this will be out fairly soon once we've decided exactly what we want to do with that little uh, information bar. But uh, as always, in the meantime, keep enjoying AGD, keep enjoying the Spectrum, and uh, happy coding. Bye-bye.